so I am long overdue in doing this chore that I pretty much despise. guys, Michelle Visser, author of Sweet Maple and owner of the Slowly Rested YouTube channel and blog of the same name. Today, you can join me on one of my most dreaded chores. I am long overdue in doing this chore that I pretty much despise. I mean, I'm not sure there's anybody who would say, oh, I love cleaning the chicken coop. If there is somebody that would say that, either I don't want to be their friend or I really think they should be my best friend because they could help me with this chore. So here we go. So if you've followed me for any number of years, you know that we live in a old, old farmhouse on a very old homestead. We think that our house was dated around 1800. And we really can't go back more than like 150 years. So we can't be sure exactly how old it is. Prior to that, it was probably always owned by the same family. So there was never any records. Anyway, we have no idea how old our chicken coop is. You can see it is a little worse for the wear. And Bill is always threatening that he is going to just tear it down. Sadly, he might be right. It might be to that point. The foundation has completely rotted. It's held up, if you can tell, by cinder blocks. But guys, I love this coop. I love just being part of the history of it. Being one of many ladies who has come down to this coop in the morning and collected eggs to make breakfast for her family. So I hope that it stands longer and I can convince Bill to not tear it down. <laughs> Um, this area is a lean-to that someone added on at some point, which really is nice. It kind of gives the chickens a little bit of a free run area, even in bad weather, which is good for when it's raining. But you know what? In the summertime when it's raining, they tend to like to find cover under any of many bushes and areas that they can find cover outside. But what it's really great for is the New England winter. So I'm guessing that's probably why somebody added it on at some point because even when there's many feet worth of snow on the ground, they can have a little area there that's a dirt ground that they can peck around, kind of be a little happy. It's hard, come like February, it's hard for all of us to be happy in New England. <laughs> but anyway, I'll show you inside. This is the side of the coop that you will often see if I share something, a picture on any social media or even on the blog. I have a bag because I'm gathering up all the trash. We often feed the chickens scraps from the kitchen and we'll bring down like a disposable something or other container and like a um, tinfoil pie plate or something. And I always have good intentions of bringing it back, but it winds up staying in the coop or in this area. So I have a bag gathering up all of the trash that we have left down here over the past few months. And now I am digging into the poo and getting it out of there. doesn't like it that I'm in here cleaning, so she's not sure what to do. Guess she'll go ahead and do her work while I do mine. By the way, I just have to note that you have found me in my finery. Yes, when I go to clean out the chicken coop, I make sure to put on my poop shoes. By the way, we love to get things from our dump room that people no longer want, like ugly green plastic pitchers, to use to hold food, well, 
not right now, <laughs> chicken food or water. So it's handy when we want it down here. But maybe I should explain what a dump room is. We take all of our trash to the local town dump. We don't have like a trash service like we used to have when we lived in suburbia. And at the dump, they have what locals call the mall, which is funny because the nearest mall is like 45 minute drive from us. Um, it's officially called the give and take room, which I think is self-explanatory. Basically, if you have something that you're done with that you think is trash, but you feel somebody else might be able to use, like these lovely green and orange plastic pitchers, then you can leave it there and someone else like me who has chicken who wants to keep chicken food handy or use it as a scoop in the coop, scoop in the coop, can grab it and feel like they found a treasure instead of it going to a landfill. And no, I do not clean the rafters of my chicken coop. In fact, I'm pretty sure some of these cobwebs have been here, well, maybe for a century. And the wiring, I think it's probably, well, I don't know, maybe the 50s? Obviously, we don't use any electric down here. It's kind of interesting that obviously someone did at one time. Oh, and my secret for how I keep Bixby out of the chicken food. Chicken do not mind cayenne pepper at all, so I sprinkle it on the tasty treats I give them, and it makes Bixby stay far away. And yes, I'm currently using their food tray to hold the door propped open while I clean things out. And yes, I use an old Teflon skillet because we don't want to use it for our food, for the chicken food. Now I just conveniently pull my wagon right over to the area behind. This is our compost we're going to put on the garden this fall, and the area behind that is for next year. So that's where I'm going to dump all of this. Side note. This handy dump wagon is one of my favorite tools on the homestead. And the next step gets even messier than the poo, I think. This is sawdust that a local um, wood company, <laughs> that's not what you call it. What do you call people that make things with wood? Wood crafter? You know what I'm talking about. A local mill. They let us come. It's a random eclectic mix of different woods, whatever they happen to be working with those couple days. They let us come to their dumpster and <laughs> bring our pickup truck, bring a whole lot of big black industrial bags, and bring home a pickup truck full of sawdust that we love to use for just this purpose. I am almost done the chore that I hate the most and it's feeling really good. For the last little step, I ran to the garden to grab some herbs. I actually had some herbs in pots from last year that never recovered. So I am bringing them some mint and some lavender. They still smell wonderful. I'm gonna put that in their laying boxes and the chickens are gonna think they are in a five-star hotel. So that's it, the chore I hate the most. I only do it twice a year, but it's done. It looks great, it smells great. <laughs> Mind you, give it a week, that won't be the case. But for now, I am so glad it's done. Oh, we already have someone in here.